So this is what our turtles do after we close. They come out and bask. That's crazy. Oh, Baby Spice, you are so good on the Jason show. So yeah, this is Baby Spice. She is about 16 feet long and she weighs about 120 pounds. Oh my gosh. And Emily needs to be quiet so I can keep commenting on you. Oh, you are such a good girl. She was so sweet. No, no, you, okay, Baby Spice, you were amazing, but that has to wait. You what? have to come here. You want yes. me to talk to Sushi? No, nope, no. Nope. Okay. Skip Sushi, skip Rex even. Oh, why would I skip Rex? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to, how to react properly to this. Look, we have blue tree monitor eggs. Oh my gosh. There's one right here, and there's one under the log right there. What? For those of you who don't know what blue tree monitors are, that's that. Right there. Yeah. Big slender tree monitor. That's the female. I don't know where the male is. Last well, but... time you got bit by the male, so be Yeah, careful. okay. So we had a feeling she was gravid because they'd been locking up a lot and she looked rather plump. So I prepared a couple big cork tubes. Yeah, this guy? Yeah, that one. And, and the one down the there. One over there somewhere. I filled them with lay material, which is just eco earth and sand, according to our friend who also breeds them, and put them in place. But in the process, I freaked out the male and he jumped out he escaped i had to chase him down and in that process he bit me pretty well so i mean here's here's the bite marks and that's like a month old now yeah yeah that, uh, these have been in here for a while settling in and we had to glue my hand back together but that's fine minor details yeah. worth it that's dealing with reptiles that's a reptile keeper's life but i got essentially eaten by the male for her just to lay her eggs on the ground. Oh yeah, she didn't even utilize your, she did you didn't. stick your hand in those logs yet to see? No, I haven't, well, I I'm guess, actually- I guess we can do that later. I wonder did if you... a couple fell out or if she laid them down there. They're scattered, which is weird. Well, he's in there right now, so sneak in and grab those eggs really fast. And okay. then we'll come back after we get those guys set up and uh, oh. see if there's anything else. Oh my gosh. Wow, they're so perfect. Yes, oh my goodness. Okay, here's one. Oh my gosh. Blue tree monitor oh, eggs. Awesome. I can't believe this. Okay. Should we I... go set those up and then pull those guys out and okay. then see if there's anything else? Look for more eggs? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, it's really late. You can see all the lights are off and the lights are off over there. And it's it's like 10, yeah. 10 30, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So just before lights in the sewer are going out, which is crazy. Yeah. But good timing. As you can hear over there, one of our racks is going down for the night as yeah. far as temperature drops. Yes. Gosh, everything excited is exciting right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> oh my gosh, we have blue tree monitor eggs, we guys. Do. I can't believe this. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, so we have perlite in here. Yep. Uh, we didn't even show you on screen because I was too excited. I just mixed it up yeah. and it's in here now. But oh I my went and gosh. peed and came back and she had already done all this stuff. So. Yep, too late. Okay, we're just going to place them in. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got a second right here. Okay, their clutches are generally a little bit bigger than this though, so I wonder if there's more in there. Should we go check? Yeah, let's go out and see if there's any more. All right, it looks like that's the female in front there. Yeah, Dad's back there, he's the bigger one. There's Dad, yep. So that's the girl. It doesn't look like she's plump anymore. No. Should we try to like palpate and see if there's anything let's still see if in I her? Can try and get her. Yeah, watch out. That male is kind of crazy. Yeah, he I might know that. jump out. Should I no. just go for it, or what do you think is the best way to do this? I probably would, but he's on his way out now. Okay, well, let's just see. Yep, watch it, watch it. We should probably pull him out. I don't want him climbing out and then escaping up there. Turn around. Go that way. Nope, go back Good. the other way. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I mean, she's pretty friendly. Ah! There you go. Ah! There you go. Ah, That's what I was worried about. I got him. He's going back. Okay, okay. Go back. Go back, sir. Go back the other way, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Come here, little girl. You're gonna cause me a heart attack. Oh, she's pooping. Oh, I totally got you. I'm sorry. Did you? Yeah, Where? I got right there. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> well, how else was I? Look, yeah. look at that inverted. Yeah, you know. that was gonna project regardless. Yeah. Do you wanna try and feel her belly? Let's see. Do you have any more eggs in you? I didn't really feel anything with my fingers. I don't feel anything either. Because they're tough. Yeah, and they were big eggs yeah. too. Yeah, I definitely don't feel anything, so I think she got them all out. Cool, all right, we'll Good set her job. back then. Good job, so that Good might job, mean. Mama. I mean, average yeah. egg clutch size is three to five, three to right? Five. that's what I read. But so, this is her first year and she is small. She is, but should we like reach in, we should probably pull out the male so he doesn't go crazy. Yeah. And then reach in and try to feel in those logs to see if there's any others, sure. but she definitely got them all out. Do we want to? 
put her someplace? Yeah, let's put her in a bin. Okay. All right, now is the game. Where is the mail? Yeah, where did he go? She's in there. Good job, Mama. You laid all your eggs. And you're not a jerk. And you're not a jerk. But where is the boy? I think he's underneath that cork. Nope. Nope? Oh, where might he be? Did he go in a log? He might be in a log. Let's close that for a second, just in case. <laughs> and look from this side. Are you in there? No, nope. don't see him. him there. Man, he's playing games with us. So the, smarter than we are. The male, the dad, is a wild-caught adult. He's not socialized. He's the one who caused these lovely scars. That's okay. He's gorgeous, so he can get away yeah. with it. Now we just have to figure out where he is, though, because we don't want him to escape while we're checking these tubes. Or I can just reach in since he's hidden. Oh, oh found him. Heard him. There you go. Yeah, just reach on in. I mean, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, we can't <laughs> blur that, Michael. <laughs> Beep it. Yep. There we go. All right. We have the mail right here. Yeah, look at him. He's so gorgeous. He is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those teeth met my hand not too long ago. Yes, they did. Come on in. It's okay, bud. We're not going to hurt you. Nope. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, there now we go. they don't have to freak out while we're reaching in to try to find eggs. I'm going to go grab paper towels and clean up the poop. Is there more poop on the oh. floor down there? Oh, there's lots of poop on the floor. Look at that. Okay. Well, while Ed's doing that, I'm going to reach in, see if I can feel eggs. I mean, we put these cork tubes in here just for her to lay her eggs in. And of course, she instead decided to lay them on the ground. But if I can feel any in here, oh, no, I don't feel any eggs in there. I don't think she understood the assignment on laying eggs in the lay tubes. But there's a lot of dirt out here, so you would think that she was at least digging. So maybe she would like to lay in them, but I guess not. So the second lay tube was this guy over there, which I think I'm gonna have to pull out completely. Here, can you hold this? There's a spider web in that one. Oh, good. You just reach your hand in there. Ew, spider webs. I don't like spider I would webs. assume if there's spider webs, there's no eggies. Probably not, unless she only went in from that side. How did there get, okay, these, this tube is not that old. How is there a spider web in here? Like a just decent one too. Just reach on in. Oh, I don't think she's been in this tube at all. Okay, it still pretty feel blocked. Like, yeah, it doesn't feel like any of the sand is even like disturbed or pushed out of the way. Okay. Okay, no eggs in there either. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I can put this back, I guess. Well, she's doing that. Our chameleon over here is really cute. He's like, what are you guys doing? First off, it's really late. Go home. This is our time in the zoo. And secondly, I'm really cute. Find anything else down there? No, I figured I'd look just in case. Oh my gosh, there's one! Another oh, one nice! Oh, okay. Why did she lay them down here? Oh, that's really Weird. long. Yeah. Well, there's three, so we at least got the minimum size We did, clutch. we did, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna set this over here for now. Okay. And see if there's anything else. Maybe she just was comfortable with them being down there, or she's a terrible mom and went, eh, I don't care where they are. Yeah, it could be either or. or. All right, that's everything. That's all of it? Yep. All right, well, we'll put this back together and then come back while we're putting them in. All right, we have our eggs. We have our clutch of three eggs. Whole still three eggs. Better than nothing. Yeah, that's true. Hey, we still have blue tree monitor eggs. That's true. Now we're going to put mom and dad back in. How are you going to do this? I don't know. Just Very carefully. Open the door and wish for the best? That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. I'm going to creep open this lid towards me so they can only go away from me and into the enclosure and hope that that works. I am really excited to see what happens here. There you go. Aw. There goes Dad. That's your home. Go on back in. Okay, now Mom, figure it out. Follow She's sweeter. You might be able to reach in and just kind of be like, hey, go in, honey. Yeah, she, she was Captain Bread. Pretty girl. You are so pretty. Aw. All right, All well, right. look how sweet Mom is. She's such a good blue tree monitor. Yeah, yeah you won't bite my arm. You, no. did, you did a good job laying eggs. Yeah. Good job, girly. Such a good mama. Yeah. Aw, it just goes to show that Captain Bread blue tree monitors are actually, they're handleable. They're yeah. kind of squirmy. But well, once they calm down. And this is one that was never worked with. That's true, yeah. It's and just she's, been in our zoo. Just loads better than the wild caught male. So, yeah, really cool animals. All right, girl, here you go. Go I back can't in. Wait to get babies. Oh, they're they're so adorable. Just amazing animals to begin with. And yeah, I can't imagine what their babies would look like. Ah, oh, my goodness. All right, we have. A third egg? The uh, alarm is still going off, yeah, sorry. Apparently, apparently the- Apparently I have it set weird at night, but yeah. eh, it only annoys the snakes. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, but we have a third we egg! Have a third egg! Oh my gosh! Eee, look at this! Oh, I still can't believe this has happened, guys! Blue tree monitors are like more of the, one of the rarest species of reptiles we have in our zoo. Like they're a 
threatened species, if I remember What's correctly. What's the one that the guy was saying? The gold tree monitor or something like that? That he doesn't even have and he wanted to breed? Oh, really? I don't even I can't know. remember. Yeah. I this is the green tree monitor, the blue tree monitor, the yellow tree yellow, monitor? Yellow, yes. I'm going to look up on IUCN redlist.org. I'm pretty sure the blue tree monitor is like a threatened species. I'd be surprised if they could still wild collect them if they were threatened. That's true, yeah. We are back. We are we back. We just found something. I found the one result with their scientific name, Varanus macrayi, I think, is how you pronounce it. Ah, they call it the blue speckled tree monitor, technically, okay. is what okay. they're called. And yeah, IUC and Red List, by the way. Very useful website, and it lists the um, conservation status of each species, like any species in the world, and it shows the range map. This is an endangered species! How can they, how ah! they still take them oh in the water? Oh my god! Maybe it's farm is, bread. That is weird. Oh, maybe the male is farm bread, yeah, not wild caught. That would make sense. Because, yeah. yeah, how would they, how would you get a wild caught? Yeah, yeah. my guess is it's farm bread. Weird. So, that would make sense because this is, in fact, an endangered species! We've never bred an endangered species, guys. This is insane. <gasps> okay, and last, last assessed was 2014, so that's a recent update, too. Oh my god. What temperature do we have to incubate these at? I don't even know. Uh, right. I, I haven't gotten that far. Uh, All right, well, we'll be back when we know that information. Yes. Okay, Emily's getting some information. We've learned a handful of things. What have we learned? We've learned that the eggs take about 150 days to incubate. Damn. That's a very long incubation time. We're used to 55 incubation. days with our colubrids. Yeah. I also learned that I'm pretty sure if this stupid white page would load, I believe the first clutch that was incubated in captivity and produced at all was in 2009. Wow. Which isn't that long ago. No. Okay, finally found it. A credible source says that eggs can be incubated at temperatures ranging from 82 to 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And they hatch after 148 to 215 days. That's a large amount of time. That's quite a range. I'm sure yeah. it's dependent on the temperature. Yeah. Like typically warmer temperatures make the animal or the embryo develop quicker and mm. hatch sooner. It's usually males though. That and usually the babies are smaller. Okay. So if you cook them low and slow, they're usually bigger babies, at least with snakes. And I would assume the same for yeah. uh lizards. So we are going to shoot. We only have the one incubator right now. What's it set to? I don't know. Let's go look. Okay. It smells like farts in here, Emily. <laughs> Come on, Ed. <laughs> yes, it was me. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that's right. Girls don't fart. No, we don't. And when we fart, it smells like roses. Ah, okay. Not so like this. It must have been me. This must have been okay. you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what are you looking at? Uh, so we bought this fancy thermometer just yes. to like make sure it's 100% accurate. It's like, it was like quite a bit of money just because it was very accurate. It's actually going down now. Yeah. So we're comparing to see how accurate this Wilbanks incubator is because we really don't want to mess up these blue tree monitor eggs. Yes. And it looks like this is set to 82. It's showing at 80.2. So I'm thinking this is just two degrees off okay. this incubator, which isn't bad. No. So I think that means we just have to increase it to 84. Okay. So it'll actually be 82. And Perfect. that would be the lowest of the incubation temperatures, but it'll grow larger babies. And what else do we have in there? We have... Yeah, we're also doing it because we have hognose eggs, which are a cooler incubation species. But 82 shouldn't help, shouldn't hurt them. No, that's still in the safe range for hognoses. It's still in the safe range for the mangroves and the tortoise eggs that are in here. Oh, perfect, yeah. So I think this will be a happy temperature for all the eggs involved. Um, so now we just have to put that blue tree monitor eggs in. All right, so we have the incubator coming up to temp. Yep. What are we doing now? Now we, of course, have to mark the tops of these oh, eggs. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I kind of did too until just now. Whoa, this is the first egg video with the new camera. Oh my god, it is! This is totally, Whoa. like, you're going to get used to this camera. Yeah, this is initiation with the rarest species we've ever bred yeah. for this camera. Maybe it's an omen with this camera. It might be. I don't know. What comes in threes? What's blue? I don't... What could we do for the theme for these eggs? Since during our country flags clutch, we forgot Canada, oh, and that idea was suggested by a Canadian, maybe let's have this entire clutch be Canada themed. Okay. All right. Let's see if Emily can draw Canadian a... things. Yeah. No promises. Ed will try to guess them like we do. Oh, that's easy. It's an oak leaf, right? Maple leaf. They're known for maple syrup. Square circle? Wait for it. I have no idea what you're... Oh, it's a it's a reindeer. <laughs> you're so close. What's Canada known for? It's caribou? Very close. Deer? A moose. Uh, I think everybody rides a moose to work in Canada. Probably. Pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah. If you're ever up in Canada, just stop and pet the moose. Yep. They're super friendly. They're cuddly like teddy bears. Yeah, that's what moose are known for. Skull and crossbones. 
hockey sticks and a hockey puck because they're also known for hockey. Sweet, there we go. Our Canada themed clutch of blue tree monitors laid on 12, 14. Oh, 10 nice. days before Christmas. Oh. Oh. Christmas babies. So what is Christmas December 14th plus 150 days? What is 150 days away from today? Will that work? May 12th. May 12th. Oh, nine days before my birthday. Oh my gosh, that's in between our birthdays. And four days after yours. I'm Three going to. Yours. I know when your birthday is. Do May 12th. I like how you did the five upside down. Oh, did I? Whoops. Uh, five is your way. Oh, That's all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to help us out, I think, because it's a longer incubation period than we're used to. So yeah. I figured I'd write it down now so that we have it. Birthday babies. Yee, our birthday. That's crazy. It's December and we have to wait almost six months yeah, for these to, to hatch. We have to wait until our birthdays. Wow. That's it's going to make me want to wait all over again for my birthday. That's crazy. What a great birthday gift this is going to be. Yeah. Well, right. the thermometer turned off. But I know it was up to 10. So. Yeah. And I think we're not gonna end the video here. I think we need confirmation on if these eggs are fertile or not. So let's give them a week and then we'll candle them and see if we find veins. Well guys, it's been about a week and unfortunately all of the blue tree monitor eggs molded out. Well, actually I think it's been about two weeks now. It did take them a little bit, but, but they were not fertile after all, sadly, but that's okay. That's actually pretty common for females' first clutches. So we're gonna keep an eye on them and hope that the second clutch is fertile and good to go and then maybe we'll have baby blue tree monitors in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your endless support. And I guess congrats to you for still laying some eggs. I'm still proud of you, even though they didn't end up hatching. But yeah, thank you guys and we'll see you next time.